Anxious to get back to game week, Evan? Oh, man, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad it's here. There's uh, Going through the bye week and having bye week practices, it's always good to refine some skills and, 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 and things of that sort. But game weeks are always different, you know what I mean? And, and, and us having our first practice this week, it's everybody's excited to kind of get back going and uh, get back in the groove of things. So no such thing really as a bye week because the bye weeks are actually harder for you? Practice, right? <laughs> yeah, well, our first one was pretty difficult. We toned down a little bit this one, but I mean, at the end, we, we still got all of our fundamental work done. We still got a lot of teamwork done, and I think we got better as a team. What did you do Saturday? Saturday? Well, uh, <laughs> my girlfriend kind of took over my weekend, so we we went. Uh, I met kind of with her. Uh, Get used to that, by the way. Right. <laughs> I met with her. I met with her. Uh, met her brother and uh, brother's wife, son, and then we went out to one of her friends' house. So it was an eventful weekend. Apple picking. <laughs> no, actually not. Did you get a chance to watch that? much college football? Yeah, actually we did. Saturday, um, a bunch of the receivers went over to uh, Coach Smith's house, and we were just sitting there eating around, watching watching football, the games that we could before I had to take off. But I mean, it was it's it's always good to go back and watch some football because I mean that's I mean that's what I've always done my whole life, and especially in high school, me and all my buddies and. In high school, we would always sit down on Saturdays and watch college football games, and then it's it's always good and relaxing to do that. But on the same token, you kind of wish you were out there playing again. So, what's it like, Evan, being at Ohio State and sort of being? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of football left to play though, mm -hmm. this season, but at least right now, being on the outside looking in, I mean, you don't. No one's talking about Ohio State being as part of this 14 plan. Mm -hmm. What's that like? Is that different for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's different. Um, I mean, we we obviously had our struggles early on in the season, and and. Um, I think we've done really well to correct the, the struggles that we've had early on, but um, it, it, it's weird. But at the same time, we know that we got to go out and beat Rutgers and then take one game at a time. And then if, if things happen to where we, we, we are, one of the teams considered, then uh, more power to us, I guess. But at the same time, we know that we got to get out and get better every week. And if we do that and we, when we're lucky enough to get in the, in the playoff, I know that uh, we're competitive enough and we, we want it enough that um, we'll, we'll succeed in whatever we uh, try to put our minds to. Evan, did you uh, watch Mississippi State at all? They played Auburn. Auburn. Yeah, I did get to see that game. Yeah. Can you imagine 110,000 Ohio State fans ringing cowbells? <laughs> I was wondering the whole time I was watching that game. I'm like, what is that sound? And I couldn't figure it out because, I mean, obviously I hadn't watched many uh, Mississippi State games before. But the whole time I'm thinking, what is that sound? And they panned over the crowd and I kind of put it together. But, yeah, if that was in our stadium, I, I'm sure we would uh, – like have some kind of seismic reaction or something. Uh, <laughs> Evan, when you uh, line up, and the other ten guys, for the most part, are new guys compared to last year. Mm -hmm. um, the production that you guys have had on offense, does, does it surprise you given all the new pieces? And how, how much better can you guys get? Um, not really, because I, I knew through the off season that we were going to be that we were going to be powerful and we were going to have a lot of weapons and we were going to have chances to put a lot of points on the board just because of everything that we've done in, in, in the off season and the way that we looked and stuff. So I knew that it probably may take us a while to start clicking like we are now, but I'm, I'm glad that it is. And, uh, and we, I mean, there's always room for improvement. I, I'll never say that myself or us as a team is a finished product, you know. So the the, the constant improvement and, 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 and things of that sort are kind of what drives us. and and what uh, pushes us forward. What specific Tom, things can you do to get better as a, as a unit? As a unit, I mean, shoot, there's there's everything. I mean, on, on offense, we got to try to make sure that we're capitalizing in the red zone. Um, we had a few times uh, last week, I'm not sure, but I know the week before we had a few times where we, we got stalled in the end zone. And granted, we're putting up a lot of points, but at the same time, I mean, there's, there's, there's little small things that we can do personally and as a team. And just uh, just making sure that we're all focused to the same goal at the end of the, uh, Evan, at the end of the day. Tom just Tom Herman just said in the other room that you're the most complete, versatile receiver on the team, and he thinks that that versatility and your ability to block and everything is going to lead to a productive NFL career. Mm -hmm. um, what is it that you think you do the best to have always cemented yourself as somebody who's always on the field? And what's it like hearing that? Well, first it, it's it's it, it feels really good to hear that, but at the same time, like I've. I've always kind of taken the approach that I want to try to know as much as possible, especially on the football field and, and really in life in general. So when when I first got here, I, I kind of took it upon myself to learn as much as I can. And then once I learned what I had on this play, then I tried to learn what everybody else had. And then once I tried to learn what everybody else had, I kind of wanted to know what the quarterback had or I wanted to know what defenses. And then I, then I wanted to know what kind of 
different plays or better suit different coverages and, and, and vice versa. So, I mean, it's just I've always kind of had a, a want for knowledge and especially in football because, I mean, I love football. It's been it's been my whole life pretty much. I mean, from the beginning and and it's just I don't know. I, I would definitely say my 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 want for knowledge of the game, my my football IQ is kind of what's driven me to become so successful, I guess.